Titan is a moon of Saturn, and it is probably the most interesting moon we know of as of right now. But also, it is a huge moon, second largest in the solar system, and it is bigger than the planet Mercury. Because of its interesting features that could support a colony, it is very much a possibility that in the future, this moon might be the second best target to colonize. And outside of the Earth, it is the most non-hostile environment in the solar system. But it is still pretty rough there. So let's see how could a colony possibly survive on this moon. First of all, they would have to get there. And it is a long trip since Titan is 10 times more further away from the Sun than the Earth is. Compared to Mars, Mars is only 1.5 times more further away from the Sun than the Earth is. So it is relatively close. And trips to Mars to deliver landers and rovers take 7 months on average. Meaning a trip to Titan in one direction would be almost 4 years. So as of right now, we are trying to get to Mars, which is as established much closer. And it is very hard. So a 4 year trip to Titan with a human crew would not be possible as of right now. Only if we invest a good percentage of total money and really start working on the new technology is when will it be possible. But it is still not impossible. So let's go into the future where it is very much possible. Now before the human crew arrives on Titan, there would also need to be bases already delivered on Titan since one spacecraft cannot possibly carry everything. So let's see what would the crew need to do. As the crew would step onto the surface of Titan, it would be apparent that the air is very dense since the pressure is 1.5 times greater than it is on the Earth. And it would be apparent also that they would be much lighter since the gravity is much lower. So they would all be 7 times lighter than on the Earth. And they would always need to wear oxygen masks and hot suits to protect them from the temperatures that are as low as minus 179 Celsius. And the atmosphere is 98% nitrogen, so oxygen would be essential. The bases and the crew would most likely be suited in the North Pole of Titan. Because that's where the huge lakes of liquid methane and ethane are. They would be there since the colony's mission would likely be to explore after they settle. And what better place to explore than the only place in the solar system besides the Earth that contains liquids on the surface. Colony would need to supply itself with food and water first. And since they were able to survive a four year trip, they likely will be able to settle onto the moon and survive without much of a problem. Since food was successfully grown on the ISS already. And by the time we are colonizing Titan, we likely would perfect that and would have terrariums that would be able to easily sustain a whole colony. What the crew would likely do here is a bunch of science experiments. Most importantly, they would most likely visit lakes and rivers and see what is going on there. There is a bit of a chance that they would find a completely new methane and nitrogen based life form living in these lakes and rivers. Since such a thing was shown that it could exist. But it would likely be single celled and very simple. A submarine could also be created which would allow us to go deep down and find even more things. Where life could also exist is in the waters underneath the surface. That's right, there are oceans with water on Titan. We know that because the surface was very wobbly which could only be explained by a subsurface ocean. And it is liquid because tidal forces of Saturn and other moons heat up Titan. Humans could possibly drill down the surface to get to the ocean with a cryobot. Basically a drill that melts since the composition of Titan is half water ice, half rocky material. We could also somehow go down the canals of a cryovolcano since Titan has cryovolcanoes. And they do not spew lava, they spew cold materials such as water, ammonia or hydrocarbons. So going down their canals could also be possible. And there is a slight chance that there could be life in that ocean. Now the crew during some time would also likely visit other places on Titan. Despite the fact that Titan is very smooth, it has tall mountains such as range Mithri Montes which has a peak 3300 meters tall. And since the crew would be 7 times lighter there, they would move around with ease and would barely get exhausted. Meaning that climbing this high icy peak 
would not be a problem. Now, this mountain range would actually be a good place to set up a base on. It could be used as a means of transport throughout the whole Titan. That's because the dense atmosphere and the low gravity would allow the colony to fly throughout the whole surface of Titan just with artificial wings. No fuel would be needed. So these mountains could be a very useful place. Now, despite all of that sounding great, the colony would not be very healthy on Titan since the low gravity would weaken the bones and Hearth would need to pump blood differently, which would pose a lot of problems. And that is not it, Saturn radiates a lot, meaning there is lots of radiation on the surface of Titan, which would cause an increase in cancer. So it is not all good. Still, such a colony would likely not happen anytime soon. It is very unpredictable as to when will such a thing even happen. Maybe 100 years from now, or even a lot more. Despite that, we can predict as to how such an exciting mission would happen, and hopefully we don't destroy ourselves before we colonize Titan. It would be a shame to miss that.